Hi, I'm Kerry from Optical Structures. Today we're looking at the JMI Motofocus Plus hand control unit. So this year we've made a major upgrade to the JMI Motofocus hand control unit. Um, this is the old unit and this is the new unit. They externally look very similar. Uh, we've added a power button and a charging light indicator. So I'm going to put the old one away and we'll just talk about the new one. The first major thing we've done is it has a microcontroller in it and a USB port and an internal battery. So instead of having to supply your own 9 volt battery and change that every once in a while, you can just plug it into the USB port to either your computer or a phone charger and it'll charge the battery. Um, the battery gives us six hours of continuous motion and something like uh, 24 hours of standby um, per charge. So it gives quite a bit of longevity uh, in use. We've got the power button. You have to wake this up. So to turn it on, you just simply press and hold that and it will power up. And you can't see it in the lighting here, but there's a um, lights behind the buttons. When it powers on, it'll blink one, two, or three times and give you an indication of the charge level, low, medium, or full. Um, so then in use, we plug it into our Moto focus unit with the cable, and then you can press the buttons and move the focus either direction. We have a speed selector switch here that goes between slow and medium. And the way the speed works is when we press the button, if we're in the slow mode, it'll move slow. If you keep holding the button, after five seconds, it'll go into its high speed mode. Same thing with medium. It'll function in the medium speed, either button, press and hold for five seconds and it will go into the high speed mode. Now, if you wanted to control your focuser from your computer, you go ahead and plug it in to the micro USB here, you plug it into your computer, and it will establish a serial port. And then we offer free software that lets you control the focus from your desktop. Uh, the software also adds in the ability to send very short pulses. The pulses are a one, a two, a four, or an eight. Um, times faster. So the, when you select the one radio button, it'll be the shortest pulse available. The two will be twice as long, the four will be four, and the eight will be eight, if that makes sense. In addition, the software lets you make configuration changes to the hand control. Um, it allows you to reverse the directions of the buttons, so for your own preference of which way your focuser works. Um, it lets you override the speed units, right? so we can tune how it behaves, and it lets you change the, the pulse timing for when you do the short increment adjustments. The hand control also has an auto off feature that has a timer that counts for two hours after the last button press. If you haven't pressed it within that time span, it'll power the unit down to save power. And that's an overview of the new Moto Focus Plus features.